Hello, Armchair Generals. Uh, this is Tom back again with another Japanese episode, playing my campaign in Hearts of Iron 3 using the Black Ice modification version 10.43. Um, where we left off last, let me actually collect, there we go, political mood. Where we left off last, <clears throat> we had just captured Yunnan, so the area of operation now has shrunk quite a bit here. Uh, we're not worrying about the, this area because there's no important virtue points and there's very few troops in this section. Um, we have seen some partisans jump in a couple places here, but more importantly down here. So we're detect, uh, detaching some Marines to go ahead and take care of that. Uh, I thought, yeah, I do have a Marine moving here as well that's going to go ahead and, and uh, provide a blocking force against that cavalry unit. Still nothing in Chantal. This is a very quiet beachhead right here. Uh, there are not as many uh, Chinese troops here as there have been in the past. Uh, but then again, too, I've been taking out their allies one by one, so the, the, uh, the Chinese um, forces are thinning out a little bit here. Fuzhou is actually looking a little bit better uh, overall. We just need to... Um, take care of this last little province that had just popped up all of a sudden and uh, remove that irritation and we can begin to move westward toward this river here. We're also going to begin, um, once we get this taken care of, which will be uh, this episode, uh, we'll eliminate the forces here and send our troops to two, two different areas. Um, we got, we'll have two different operational areas. One I want to move down this river here to link up with uh, Shantou. The other, um, I believe, I would like to go ahead and send a second group uh, down this river so we can kind of get close to uh, Gungsi Click. We'll see how that goes. I need sufficient troops here, probably about a dozen. Uh, what do we got? Two, four, six, eight, nine provinces separating uh, my area and, and the uh, Shantou area. So we'll at least need a dozen troops to push down this way. Um, once we do, then this will be a huge section that's just it's going to be um, completely closed off. Uh, we'll be able to eliminate the, the Chinese in, in good order throughout here. This um, section here, if I can move down this, uh, this river here, um, I would probably need about another dozen or more uh, troops to go and do so. And I, I figure I can go ahead and uh, uh, curve along the Shanxi. Um, Shanxi, Gungsi click uh, border here to this river. We want to avoid, um, maybe move up against Gungzhou, but we want to avoid uh, taking that over. It's worth two VP. The um, British, or uh, British, uh, I wish, the uh, Republic of China surrender is currently at 63.4%. We'll be getting a couple of victory points um, once we start operations here, we've got a couple of victory points here that we'll be taking. Uh, this operational area will give us another one, and I think that's it for right now. Um, so we, I don't know if I want to move into there just yet, but definitely we need to look at consolidating this whole entire eastern area as best as possible and then start doing a push westward. Um, uh, there's probably about two victory point locations I'd like to leave behind for the Chinese until we have the uh, Gungsi click uh, captured entirely. Otherwise, we're doing very well overall. Um, we're in August of 38. We have quite a bit uh, of our IC set to production now, 122. Almost all of our uh, naval forces that appeared in this queue back in 1936 at the start of the game is being worked on. The actual dates of completion um, what is accurate for where we're at this point in time, but come January of 1939, we'll be uh, pulling, putting all efforts towards the IJN, the Imperial Japanese Navy. Um, so this, like for the Soryu to be finished by October 7th, after that uh, selection of decisions, we'll be seeing that drop probably about a month or so. It will be finished uh, mid to early 1940. Um, but otherwise, we're doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and get this game rolling. attacking me so not a big deal there kind of waiting uh, I'm needing to get uh, like I said needing to get this uh, cauldron um, 
taken care of entirely because then uh, all the units they have pretty much around this area I'll be able to start filtering to their appropriate locations and I say I need about a dozen I've got uh, how many three that's nine that's that is about a dozen that I have right there so everybody that's involved here is probably gonna have to go to here to take care of this operational area I won't be able to handle this one just yet. I don't have enough forces at um, on me. I'm still working on this, um, the phase three of, of this gigantic operation here, uh, trying to get to this river, which we've already done in the east, as you can see, and in the middle. But we're trying to trying to push our way down here with the, the units that I've got uh, to continue that uh, link up and, and uh, ensure that we've got a good... Um, east-west border here in China and not that much more to go. Let's see how our units up here are doing. Well, he can certainly continue down. Yeah, these guys are all right. Okay. We're kind of holding on this um, river here just because I want to try to move along this river best I can so I can cut off a couple of provinces up here maybe kill another 20 30,000 or more troops we'll see this we've been having some problems with I'm I thinking I'm just gonna be happy with where I'm at see if they'll actually retreat out of here and uh, if so go ahead and take them uh, Yunnan or former Yunnan we've got a couple of infantry units that are moving down to create a, a nice wall uh, so that way we can't um, don't have to worry about the uh, Nat Chinese here. Uh, they're walled off entirely. And what we have here is kind of a dagger, if you will, straight down south or sword even. <coughs> Excuse me. I would like to push into these territories as well, kind of begin a, a push east. But I, I don't have enough forces, I don't feel. <coughs> yeah, in fact, on that note... Let's move some of our cavalry forces around a little bit here. There we go. Kind of spread them out some. Otherwise, uh, broadcasting advance. Uh, this plus the uh, the monument. Uh, is that a construction? Or, or was it a yeah, nation? Uh, this architectural technology, I already finished the monumental architecture, so I should be seeing, hopefully later this month, uh, plans for the next building that I can uh, design that will give me some uh, bonuses. The uh, broadcasting advance um, will give me uh, a, another set as well, uh, not only leadership, but also give me another set of, of things I can research here. Okay, so we'll let that go as is. in Shanxian. Is that... Wait, hold on now. Huh. Oh, here. I was moving my... Uh, the partisans were moving out at the same time as my headquarters unit was moving in. He needs to come... Yeah, take that province back. Come on. I would like to take it. However, we got held up here. And being held up here. Ugh. In retrospect, I probably should have, well, I, by the time I was moving this infantry unit, they, uh, the partisans were not here yet, but in retrospect, I probably should have dropped off this um, specialized light infantry here on the island proper and just have them, you know, regain their org and then move up north rather than drop them off in this, on the front lines. Because they're, they're kind of, um, they have absolutely no org to speak of here. Okay. All right. Nothing of great import there at this point. Kind of in the uh, in the war, there's not a whole lot going on per se. 
uh, I mean, there is, but it, there's not, it's not as uh, fraught as it was earlier. Right now, we're just, like I said, we're, we're looking at uh, consolidating this, and we'll begin our next phase operations pretty soon. We should be uh, seeing a little bit more action then at that point. Uh, they've been attacking me there, already selling fuel. I really, I'm, I'm pretty much green with everything, uh, the exception being uh, metal. And is that because our IC is going way up? Wow. I had I had um, gotten rid of all of our trades for metal. I'm not selling any either. But honestly, at 99,000 metal, I don't care if I'm losing 50 a day or whatever. That's that's fine. Um, this is really vexing me, but I can't do anything about it. No one wants to buy my energy. No one, no one that needs energy has the money to be able to buy it. Let's see. We can lower that here. Let's. Um, this infantry will be done in September. I can send them down to the island there so we can move up to the Gungsi Click. Or I ideally like to push down further into these heavy cruisers here and start building on those. Nothing there. Yeah, it, everything is, is good with my oil. I may be losing. That's fine. It's converting over to fuel because we're using so much fuel. On that note, I think we're waiting a bit. Once we're done here, then I can uh, send some more of my fleets home and uh, reposition my um, uh, uh, pocket, but the uh, battleships here, the, the uh, coastal battleships to uh, further south to provide shore bombardment. Looking to see, I think you know what this destroyer unit. I know they're patrolling right now, but I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna send them on back to Nagoya here. Um, they kind of need to rest and refit. They lost. We I lost a destroyer and a motor torpedo boat in this entire conflict here with China at sea. I've only lost two ships. They've lost over half a dozen light cruisers, um, almost half a dozen motor torpedo boats, uh, probably a few other miscellaneous ships here and there. This, I'm waiting for that to wrap up here. Do I have anybody else that can uh, join in here to kind of speed things up? I know I'm kind of moving all over the place here. And I guess the answer to that is no, I really don't have anybody else to move in there. So those two will need to take care of. Okay. Um, and real quick, what are we doing here? So waiting for... I got some units moving in, but we're waiting for the um, uh, rest of our units to uh, get ready for the next round of battle here. Yeah. Can we actually begin to attack? Yes, we can. Let's push these in. I know there's units retreating from here to here, but let's, so let's go ahead and begin to push them. I want to attack here as well. I'll kind of begin to push them into that area, and all those guys will be moving there. Okay. And they're attacking there. Cool. Okay. Oh, um, fuel, fuel. Bah. Radios advance. Uh, 1940 Tech will go ahead and Click that off here. Let me drop this back down to 40. We have uh, 18 leadership going toward officers, which is 133 a day. We're over 80%, 82% here, which is good. The um, I would really, really, really love to see that uh, get to 90% in green. And once it does, then I'll, I'll take at least half of that uh, leadership, if not more off of the uh, off of the officers there okay and more reinforcements can be pulled off there so they've given up the attack on there and my marines will move in here soon enough <clears throat> uh, thus freeing up those other Marines to do what I really need them to do. 
We've gained two or one capital shipyard. That's good. And more units are retreating, retreating, retreating. Seventeen thousand troops, but they should be retreating to there. Uh, partisans vexing me greatly. Oh, another another fleet of some sort or ship of some sort has come out. Uh, and Lou, where are we? Okay, almost sixty thousand troops so far here. We still have uh, more retreating into Anlu at this point in time, and also uh, uh, Shang Chang. But th those that are here are gonna just end up dying here real quick. Um, so 60,000 troops, probably what's here is about another 60 or so. Um, I think we're around 775,000 troops that in a various number of cauldrons I've eliminated or captured. So that's good news all around. Troops that I'm eliminating are troops that aren't coming back to haunt me. This should be ending here fairly quickly. Ah. Interesting. I guess there was a battle in Jiang and I didn't really realize it. I know I said that uh, Shan Chao has been, uh, has been kind of quiet here, uh, but all of a sudden we have uh, an attack here and my Marines here that we ended up winning. And they're now attacking me here at Chazao. Um, I'm going to send the Marines out to help out, uh, help in that particular battle. Uh, worst case scenario, I can send uh, my headquarter units to other surrounding. I, I guess I've been rather lackadaisical because there hasn't been much movement here in this uh, operational area at all. And all of a sudden now there there is. Okay, we have taken care of all the forces here. Yeah, it's just, just me everywhere. So I didn't get to see the, the remainder of the troops that were still in retreat and going to end up uh, dying on, on one of the uh, on one of the provinces that I had captured. But that's okay. It, uh, like I said, at least 60,000 in the one province, and there's probably a, another 60,000 in all the other troops. So we'll say it's about 125,000. We're up to 900,000 troops total, I will say. My propaganda machine, at least we'll say. Moving everybody over here. This is me kind of tricky because the initial battle is going to be over river. However, I think 12 units should be able to do the trick. We're going to we're gonna come here and then just go due south and meet up with, uh, uh, meet up with uh, Shantau here. And once we've done so, then um, we'll have our troops here on the east begin to push, 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 push westward against the line that I and they'll have built up. They'll be all they'll be caught. They'll be killing a whole bunch of troops. Hopefully there. We'll go forward. Do I have? Oh, you know what? Let me double check something here. Do I have anybody here? Just want to see that I don't have any troops kind of like lingering anywheres. He kind of needs to come down. He does as well. I mean, we've got a lot of uh, uh, command and control, if you will, are able to uh, to affect our troops deep in the battlefield. But we need to make sure. There we go. Group them together. Uh, put that artillery to good use. It's been roaming around free ever since the uh, main unit that was assigned to him got uh, got dragged off. Um, we'll move him out here. Um, but yeah, all these uh, headquarter units, I need to make sure that we're within uh, op proper operational range. Like, yeah, he needs to come over some. He can come around over here. I don't want my guys getting too far out of, because I know, like, well, no, actually, they're starting to catch up here. Okay, good. Okay, this guy, he needs to come all the way down over here. Once we're done in China, I'll clean up the, um, 
the hierarchy a bit more. Um, I'll make sure that I uh, throw five units into each core headquarter, uh, try to make sure it's appropriate units as well. Um, I think the, the best setup I have right now is the one core headquarter that has my uh, tanks and mechanized infantry assigned to it. Everybody else is kind of like a mismatch, which is fine. And we can role play that that's how the, the Japanese are running it in this in this uh, theater right now. But once we're done in China, then I want to I want to straighten up uh, a little bit. So this is the major battle that I'm keeping an eye on. Uh, there's others, of course, as well, but like this uh, that battle there, Jing Yang. Yeah, let's go ahead and move um, one of my Marine Corps headquarters over there. Make things a bit easier. Oop. Interceptor versus interceptor. We were doing very well against them, wrecking them. Moving all my units over here to Huang. So finally defeated them. Thirty-six thousand troops. Um, yeah, there's nowhere they can retreat. North Taiwan Sea. What's uh, a liner? Passenger liner. So it's. So it's a Chinese passenger liner that's kind of moving around for whatever reason that's that we're attacking. Light infantry branch upgrade, good. We need that. Increase defensiveness, toughness, soft and hard attack for um, my light infantry. Cavalry as well. I have a lot of cavalry. Militia as well. I have a lot of militia. We can move, okay. We're gonna move this. Um, subs back. There aren't any ports that they need to be worrying about. We're going to move these destroyers back. I uh, don't think we have any other further use of them. He is going to come on down. No, he's going to uh, rebase, and then he's going to set up shop over here to help provide um, some shore bombardment. And he's going to do the same thing, too. Whoops. He's going to go into that province and kind of get ready. Um, so I have a destroyer there. You know, this coastal sub I will go ahead and also send back. I mean, we've, we've done a lot, but as you can see, there's two convoys that we're trying to go here because there's a, a, a port that the Chinese own here. And there's another port here, but it, there really aren't that many enemy convoys getting sunk compared to the beginning of the war. So... Apparently there's some shipping that's coming in from somewhere to the east that uh, the Chinese are buying things that are getting sunk. So I really don't need all the um, numbers of subs that I've got here. Um, well, we'll maintain with... Well, okay. These subs, we can move all them back. They're not... Uh, yeah, they're not in, in need. And that'll lessen the amount of fuel we use. Do I need a save? Yes, I do. I find that highly annoying, but okay. Zulai. Uh, intriguing. I didn't realize I had that. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, because that was part of Yunnan, and um, obviously we couldn't uh, take that province, move into that province, so it's just a matter of them actually moving in and, and taking it. That's probably that, yep, that transport line here again. And our troops are now moving to the eastern side to get ready for the next phase of operations coming up. I can kind of begin some movement, but I think I'll just wait until we're fully set up here. Okay, my troops are moving, moving, moving. Please move quicker, quicker, quicker. Um, how are we doing over here? Not worried. Well, not terribly worried about him, but he needs to. He needs to move on down. Uh, Rearway artillery just it very very slow. You can see their base speed. The slowest is the. Um, Railway artillery itself, half a kilometer an hour. Uh, eh. Just eh. Um, we need to leave behind him. 
Well, you know what? We're going to do this. We got six guys here. We're going to move these guys down here and then down there. The other six guys, or other three guys out of the six, we're going to have them go ahead and move. Because I, I decided I'm not going to worry about running along the uh, the river and try to capture a couple provinces. I don't think that's going to be, it's, it's going to work well. So we're going to come here and then move there. In conjunction, he's going to move here and there. These guys are moving down into here. Okay. So we'll be having these provinces taken care of, and then we'll, we'll continue. We'll leave our troops behind and keep pushing east to, to get to that river there. Uh, we'll bring these troops down to the, the river as well. And these guys can all come down as well, too. He can go this way and here. Um, he can do the same. And we'll assist in the battle there. Okay, this also expect to lose um, just because yeah, you can see the arrow is pointing to move into there. I've got my line coming down this way. We'll be just fine. Yeah, we'll have one guy moving down to there, one guy moving to here, and the other guy staying there. His uh, headquarter unit is coming down to help. All right, nothing much that I need to worry about overall. Um, you know, I, I see the Zibi San Ma is actually beginning to move <laughs> into the areas that are being vacated. That being the case, let me just go ahead and move all my cavalry that's here. Um, we're going to move them to here. Yeah, we can attack that province. That's fine for a future attack on this province again with uh, some full strength cavalry units this time instead of the expeditionary forces I was using. I really want to reduce that province so that way we've got this this river, well, this river where you know, we got everything north of it. Again, not worried about these provinces. The units are here. They're cut off from supply. Um, if Zibi Sema wants to take them on, they are more than welcome to do so. They can expend their manpower we're doing all right in. We're up to 832. Uh, we're under 800 for uh, quite a while with all the historical units that we were getting. But that's actually now improving quite a bit. Let's see here. Um, let me move my second unit in there. This other guy, well, let's also move him into there. Why not? This needs to finish up. Come on. Die calf, die calf. <laughs> and Kang. Cool. <coughs> All right. Um, we still have units traversing down to here, but for right now, um, let me go ahead and begin the push south with the units that I have at this point. I still need to leave somebody behind because we've got two other provinces that are controlled by the enemy. So I will leave a, um, a, a, a top-of-the-line infantry unit behind, and then we will begin our push south, leave an infantry unit, push south, leave an infantry unit, push south, infantry unit, push south, infantry unit, and push south. We made it to Gian at that point. We have more units coming that way. Let me go ahead and... Yeah, that's everybody that's there. There we go. And then we'll leave an infantry unit at GN. Leave an infantry unit there. There. And we'll, we'll end up there. We'll have at least four units um, with what's here and two others I left at the army units I left at GN. We'll have enough to knock on somebody's door over here. And the idea is to um, go ahead and, and link up, uh, get this line going directly into the Shantou province here. This being a port, that means we can provide supply to the line as it's coming down. They just need to hold, and 
and do their best at holding while I start my movement from the east to the west. I have an out of supply unit. How many do I have here? Uh, different locations, but I saw an out of supply unit here and here. We'll go ahead and, and supply them for the next month. Um, I'd rather not have that guy there. Do I have anybody who can swing around? Not really. Yeah, that army is not really going to be a very good defensive force against what could potentially attack. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. We'll we'll roll our dice and see what happens there. All right, so we got a couple of battles going on. This I need to have finished up so I can get my Marines down and retake the island from those partisans. Our other Marines, they're getting uh, they're getting hammered pretty good. Industry advance, okay. They gave us some more IC. We're up to 187. Let's see what we'll go up to after that. Yeah, we don't need fuel. Honestly, I don't need anything. Um, gaining 15 bucks a day, I really don't need anything. I need to to uh, get my money reserves up quite a bit here because I should be having the two research projects I did, broadcasting and uh, monumental or monument um, uh, research. Those should be getting me some decisions here to build some new buildings and to um, continue on with my uh, small entertainment tales to the to the next next level there. That battle's not going as well as I would have thought. But that, there is a lot of units here. So that's understandable. Um, and I can't support the attack here. So even though I've got a bunch of troops, uh, in order to open the front up a bit, plus I'm crossing river, but to open up the front a bit, I would have to attack from somewhere else, which I'm not able to. All right, finally, the Marines will come down. some org yes I don't uh, well actually I do that armor unit ah, ha, ha. oops there we go don't want to go through enemy territory yeah I'll send him over um, to that armor unit and since he since he is defending behind the river he could use the extra uh, 4,000 men to help reinforce his defense there not getting attacked, but I'd rather not be attacked at all. Not worry about it. Yep, took care of the partisans. As I kind of anticipated and expected, that wasn't going to be any issue. It's just a matter of this was just uh, vexing me, the fact that, you know, I had lost those areas. We gained horses, which I think is a... Um, that, yes. So we took that territory... Uh, provides supply throughput of plus 6.5 percent. <laughs> blessings, blessings. I definitely, definitely need that. Yeah, small increase, but nonetheless, we do need that increase. Uh, and is that aluminum? Oh, that's rare materials. Um, there's several. Like, oh, there's aluminum. That's why we had gotten aluminum, um, which nobody has bought. I'm really puzzled on that. Uh, I would have thought somebody would have bought aluminum for the 8,000 bucks it's worth, but. Okay, I mean, people don't have that much money. Each of the major strategic resources that you get, I think you can sell to to two other nations, I believe. Um, so with aluminum, you gain the effects, uh, or I, I gain the effects, I should say, since I have aluminum, and I could sell aluminum to two other uh, partners, uh, people that want aluminum. Like we have bought the chromite, uh, copper, and the zinc earlier. Um, horses, though, you can't sell. That's just a stretch, strategic effect that uh, affects me. There's this as well here, tungsten. That's for heart attack. And I think that's it. Um, there's others as well, like uh, the fertile soil. When France falls in a couple years here, probably in 1940 for sure, um, we will get, uh, or we will force the issue and get... Uh, uh, this French possession here. 
Uh, that will give us the uh, the fertile soil, which I believe gives us manpower, um, a bonus to manpower. There's rubber there. I disremember what that provides, but it provides some sort of uh, benefit. Uh, gold, that gives you money. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Chinchona? Chinchona? Don't know what that provides either. In any event, <laughs> there's, little, there's some resource areas that provide strategic effects in the game. That can uh, that can help you out. I'm glad to see um, <laughs> that appear. Destroyer class advance, good. We needed that. Go up to level two. We had started doing some uh, research with um, our naval techs. We had been kind of letting these go by the wayside, which uh, with our attacks on China naval type stuff, naval doctrines and whatnot, that would not have really helped us. We were going with the nation, land forces, and um, the deep battle, uh, our grand battle plan, rather. Um, just because that, all that helps us in regards to these land battles here. Wen Chan. Yeah, that's fine. Now, we knew we were going to be losing that. This guy needs to hurry up and move into here. September 4, he will get there. That's no problem. Again, talk about September here. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're good. Um, September 20th is when that unit becomes ready. Okay. Let us negate some of the supplies. We're over 50,000. I Actually, let me drop this down to, say, 32. That way we'll still be gaining, we should still be gaining supplies, um, but we won't be gaining it quite so much. Enforcements need to go down a bit. We got, yeah, I'd like to see that. This makes me so excited to see all these naval units uh, get uh, get built. Um, Japan lives or dies based upon their navy. I mean, their armies, you know, it needs to be decent too, because you'd be doing a lot of fighting. Um, but Japan, being a uh, naval nation, island nation, and and wherever it needs to go, with the exception of say attacking in Russia. It, they definitely need a good navy in order to, to win. Uh, good. We won there. This should start going better. Uh, floods. The floods are affecting me, uh, I think, here, but definitely in this area. This is considered Southeast Asia area. Um, I need to pull these Marines out. They need uh, They need some rest and refit. And as such, let's move these Marines into here. Okay. Right, while I, I think this, this next infantry unit um, that I've got being built here, once he's done in September, I'm going to ship him out to, uh, to, this, to this area. Just leave him on the port so he can, he can uh, regain his, his org. But I'll use him to act as a blocker and attack in the areas it needs to. Yeah, pulling that Marine out is... Uh, that's hurting me. Submarine torpedo advance. Okay. Embargo on Japan. Uh, gaining five in descent. Broadcasting. This is what I was waiting for. Let's see the plans. Um, fiscal policy. We just did the... Um, so we can increase our unity. We did the um, Series A... Uh, low yield bonds. If we want to gain even more money, and I think I kind of do need to. I'm only gaining 15 a day. I would like to, to get more. I think we need to do a tax increase. That's going to kind of hurt our unity, which right now is not that big of a deal. Um, we're, o we're over 81%, so any any hit to it is just going to be a very moderate adjustment, or minor adjustment. But that daily descent change is going to be a, a moderate uh, hit. So if I, if I were to do Say major tax increase, that would be very hurtful. Um, but I think I need to do a tax increase so I can get a little bit more money. I don't know how much money comes in. It's kind of, well, I won't say random, but I believe based on what you choose, a certain amount of money comes in at certain times of the uh, of the year. Um, background, each month. Okay, so you, you will get more money. I think I would go ahead and take the uh, moderate tax increase. That kind of hurt me a little bit. Yep. But I, I I need I need some more money here. 
let's go ahead, let's mark this up to um, 0 0.05. There we go. Yeah, okay. Things are good otherwise. We're up to 190 IC. That's good to see. We want to um, do the, the entertainment show, and the reason being, oh, we had to punish the enemy. Let's go ahead and select that. Well, say that this is too harsh. We don't want that. Uh, we would get threat. And I, I really don't need threat at this point in time. Um, the broadcasting that I researched gives me three options that I can take. I already took the small entertainment show. And if we look at the uh, strategic effects here, I will show you what that does for us. Uh, where are you at? Up here. Um, you can see the... Uh, uh, news and politics, heroic tales, and the entertainment. We already took small entertainment because they gave us um, a bonus to consumer goods required during war and peacetime. I'm going to take the uh, regular entertainment shows because it doubles that amount. It's up to 4%. Plus, it increases our money a bit more. So maybe in retrospect, I should have just taken the minor tax increase. Then we would have been all right. But nonetheless, this will help us lower the amount of consumer goods required to, um, to keep the cent low. Uh, tails are good to have because that increases national unity, and when you go further into it, your uh, regain rate for your org goes up. Uh, news and politics, uh, when you hit the fa um, when you uh, go further on down, you'll see even more unity and ruling party support. I personally, for Japan, I don't worry about this, this the uh, news and politics, uh, nor really the heroic tales. Um, maybe later, once we've gotten all the entertainment. Um, purchased, then I'll start going to tail so I can get that organization rate regain rate. But for right now, like I said, we are going to do the entertainment show. And when that comes in, probably in a few days, then we'll see how much that helps us buy. Um, so my Marine headquarters are really not all that great. <laughs> they don't help out much. Oh my. You know, let's just have him go over here. He'll get there on the 10th, and let's have him come over here. Yeah, let's do that. In the meantime, he's retreating. Okay, we're, we're fine. I'll probably need to pull him off very soon. But we'll wait and see. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pull him off at this point now. I would still like to hold that, hold this um, ring around Chantau, just that way they can't attack the port itself. Um, not that I, I don't think if you attack a port, it interrupts your uh, supply gathering, or you know, getting supplies into it. But I don't know. <laughs> it may actually. So I, I like to try to keep a, a ring around my ports, so that way um, any activity on the port is not going to be inter interfered with. Uh, this doesn't affect us at all. Um, let me pull these guys off and the militia off as well. That'll then, my full strength armor will take the place of my weaker armor and these two infantry units, at least one of them should jump in, perhaps. The armor may be, may be having a three width itself, but I, I don't think it does. Oh, is this guy here? Yes, he is. Let us go ahead and combine together. And uh, what's the... Mazuro whatever um, in Dengxian. This guy. Okay. Yeah, the, the, I think this is the only core unit, uh, core headquarter unit that I have that has all the units under him that it, it work for him. You know what I mean? It, all my other... Like this guy, he he has a um, after tank unit for whatever reason. He he should actually be with somebody that kind of provides better bonuses for what he's doing there. Um, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, I think we kind of lost the uh, thread. Well, what's happening here in phase three? Um, oh, they're fine where they're at. They're going to hold out here. They don't need to sit there where where they're at. They can come. Um, proceed further eastward here. All of these guys are coming down there. Okay. 
that's why they're at 25, and that's why they're at 4. I've got units here, but let's have him come down here and this guy go that way. Um, all these guys are attacking here. One, two, three, four. Oh, one of them's coming that way. Okay. And yeah, that's about finished. 91%. That'll be about finished. They can attack here, and we're going to go ahead and continue south to there. Okay. We won't do any further attacks across the river on, on here. We're going to wait till we're pushing east along the river, and then all these guys will, will then move in uh, as appropriate. This battle, yeah, that's taking a while, but that should be getting better here. And here's the other, the uh, the beta to the alpha there, a uh, new monumental building for the nation. We can build Ministry of War, Finance, Foreign Affairs, Palace of the Party, um, Global Intelligence, that's a CIA effectively, Seat of uh, Government, uh, Major Movie Studio, and Feared Police Headquarters. Looking back at the uh, strategic effects here, and I know they cost about 5000 each roughly, here are the benefits they provide. And I think I'm going to go with the Imperial War Ministry for right now because that 5% organization bonus, very, very handy. We're not really suffering with money at this point. I would like more money, sure. So the Imperial Finance Ministry could be a, um, a great deal to get. The reason why I want more money is because I want to keep buying the strategic resources that I need so I can, I can do better. Um, I need copper for the um, decrease in naval build time because we use the Vicar Steel to build uh, ships. Um, that also lowers the penalty for um, the metal that you gain. You, um, I just purchased zinc recently so I could lower the, the uh, penalty yet again to, to negate it entirely, to drop it to zero. But because of where I'm at right now with metal, I don't need to worry about buying zinc again. I like to also buy chromite because that helps out with um, IC efficiency, uh, your build efficiency. So I just like to keep getting chromite uh, over and over. Those are the only two st strategic resources that I really need, and there's not much else I'll need money for per se, but there will be... Um, there are events where I have to spend money on my army and navy and even air force if it gets too big, so I want to make sure I got sufficient funds for that. And as well, there may be um, other uh, historical unit uh, builds where I may need to spend some money on, um, or maybe not historical units, but other unit builds that I need money on. So I could see, I could see getting both of these. I'm going to be researching that uh, monument um, uh, tech next or year after next in 1940 and once that's completed that i get the other building that i want moving onward though imperial foreign ministry this will help spies um we're actually okay with what i have going towards spies right now and the amount of research tech that i've got i've stolen i think i'm at a good place so i don't need to worry about that the uh, palace of justice a little bit increase in money but losing party really party support if i want money i'm just gonna get the imperial finance ministry uh, the CIA, this is uh, equivalent to the Imperial Foreign Ministry in, that, in as much that uh, helps spies, but also that research efficiency is really good, 5%. So I could see getting the CIA, uh, the Global Intelligence Headquarters, as we call it. Uh, Imperial Seat of Government, the leadership modifier is probably the best thing out of all this here. Uh, major movie studio, getting money, uh, lowering descent. Uh, lowering descent. Again, though, if I want money, I would just get the Imperial Finance Ministry. Uh, and the feared National Police Building lowers re revolt risk and helps spies. So I think for future, uh, going forward on, on everything I want, I immediately got this, the, um, the university, because that improved our leadership and research efficiency. I needed that right off the bat. Um, so I went ahead and got it. Um, but I think the next ones I'm going to be getting will be the uh, Imperial War Ministry, uh, Imperial Finance Ministry, and the um, uh, Central Intelligence uh, Headquarters. Those will be the ones I, that I'll want the, uh, the most. And possibly major movie studio, if we're talking down the road, you know, to lower descent, stuff like that. But I think those I, I named will be the ones that we want. What I want right now, though, what would actually help us in regards to uh, accomplishing our goals better, quicker, is this Imperial War Ministry. We could use that land organization uh, right now. The naval organization, yes, we'll need that down the road, but the land organization, I could use that uh, plus five. So I think I will go ahead and do that and maybe pick the Imperial Finance Ministry after that. 
we'll see. So um, let's go ahead and get that. The uh, Ministry of War is what it's called. It costs uh, need at least a thousand bucks there. Cost five thousand metal. We have plenty. Twenty five thousand supplies. So half my supplies are going to be going towards that. But that's okay. We'll build it. We gain three more in descent. Uh, less I, but whatever. And we'll lower that. Okay. Um, so with the way things are going now, with the amount of IC we have going towards consumer goods at this point here, which, yeah, we're, we're lowering by 0 0.05 once we're able to, uh, to get a few other things rolling, uh, we'll be seeing our descent go down even faster. I will go ahead and save it and call the episode at this point here. Uh, we've been playing since uh, July, roughly. Um, again, my promise is to uh, complete the uh, Chinese um, campaign by, by the end of the year. That is my Tom Mantec promise to everybody watching. We are doing well to get towards that, I feel. We just need to finish up this phase three of, of that old operation, kick off this new operation, which is really struggling. I'll have to figure out what else we need to do here. Probably vector in some air power into this area. Um, but otherwise, we're, we're, we are doing what we need to be doing at this point here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, would like to go ahead and recommend uh, people provide me some any comments or questions you may have about the game down below. But otherwise, everybody have a great day and see you next episode.